and on the subject of water, something needs to get done. As this frightening drought in the West deepens, the water structure that's been in place for nearly 100 years is beginning to collapse. Simply put, there's too much demand and not enough supply. The fight is about to begin. So who do you think should get the water? The big cities full of men, women, and children? The industries that employ them? Or the farmers who raise the food that nourishes us all? It's complicated, huh? No one ever thought we'd get to this place. But everyone understands now, things are changing rapidly. But people are waking up. Neighborhoods, communities, cities are starting to take responsibility for their lifestyle. And Water LA is one of them. Capture, conserve, and reuse water. That's it. That's all you got to do. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've taken dirt out of two pits in this yard. We are grading it for rainwater capture. So whatever water is coming off the roof on this side and whatever water is coming off the roof on this side in a rainstorm will be caught in these, what we like to call, rain gardens. I'm a homeowner, this one. I'm worried that there might not be water for my kids. So uh, anything I can do to conserve water, make sure there's a little more for future generations, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Plus, you know, I'm gonna save some money too on my water bill. I came from the Midwest and I was concerned about water there and when I came here and saw the water running down the streets, I'm like, oh my lord, what a waste. Sean knocked on my door. I knocked on her door and said, hey, <laughs> want to do something about your front lawn? We're capturing water today. We're helping the earth. And yeah. so I said, yes, you had me. At, we're helping the earth. They were walking up and down our street one day saying, hey, do you want to get involved with the L.A. Water Project? I said, okay, Water L.A. And, uh, we weren't quite sure what we were getting to, but they've been having workshops every week, and we go and we learn about the soil and we learn about the watershed. We're sitting on a part of the alluvian plain where the water table used to be a lot closer, but now since they're draining everything to the to the ocean. 98% of your rainwater ends up in the ocean, 2% into the ground. What a shame. They're trying to do urban acupuncture, I think Melanie calls it, where they do one lawn at a time. One neighbor at a time. Make a bunch of tiny little holes and instead of big giant projects. They just told us that one inch storm here in LA, off our, half of our roof, we'll save 360 gallons of water. We live in a chaparral ecosystem and yet we plant things that can't thrive here. And then we use all this water that we import, don't take care of the water that we're sitting over and wonder a hundred years later why we have a problem.